Good morning, everybody. Victor here from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Ricky right next to me. Good morning. We are with High Tides Fishing once again. We got Jamie and Olga. Today is a special day because we're getting to fish an area that we haven't been able to fish all week. Little did we know, but there was actually a hurricane headed towards the Pacific coast of Mexico as we were headed here. So half of our trip, we had some kind of unfortunate conditions and weather, but it is absolutely beautiful out here today. No wind, sunny as can be. And we're just gonna work along this whole coastline, along this beach, target rooster fish, African pompano, some Mexican barred snapper, cuberos, and this is a really good Good rooster fish spot so wish us luck we have goggle eyes just like you guys see back home which are bait fish about this big slow trolling we got some on the outrigger we got one down we got one up top and it's a good way to cover water so me and Brooke are working the top with the lures you saw a little rooster get out of the water oh, his yeah. head yeah, 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 I, yeah, I saw yeah. more with it uh-huh oh we're, he's pulling yes Jamie we're, we're gonna fish very light leader and with the rooster fishing, we don't put a lot of pressure. We work yeah. them nice and slow. Man, we are up. It's, it's looking good. Two back-to-back -back hits, guys. Definitely not a needlefish. The one thing we've been dealing with a lot the last few days is needlefish. And I'm not talking about normal needlefish. I'm talking about like four or five foot long needlefish. This dog knows when a fish is on. It's pretty amazing. Reefs are good luck charm. She has gone with us every single day offshore. Four yeah. doubled up? No. Way. I got another one here. Not sure what. I think it's a rooster also. It's a rooster I got on. Wow. Look at it. Medium sized rooster. Rooster dance now. Woo! They're here. Yeah, they are. Isn't catching fish so much better when there's a beautiful background like that? The coastline? Oh yeah, there it is. I just saw the first glimpse of the rooster fish and they have the prettiest pattern and they have those distinct, I don't know if you'd call them tracers. There's Surprise. a bunch of rooster following Olga's fish. No way. Yes. Right in the corner. Yes, baby! Woo! First rooster <laughs> fish in Mexico! Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey, Jamie, let's go! Yes, sir! Woo! You guys, look at that beauty right there. This is one of the fish on my bucket list. I know it was on Brooke's bucket list. And look at that. Another one right behind it. <laughs> wow. Woo! Doubled up on gorgeous Mexican rooster fish. I knew they were pretty but I had no idea until I've actually seen them in person. These things are so colorful and these gorgeous tracers on them, huh? Man, what a fish. All right, guys, we take our time releasing them. Got this rooster fish's head in the current. I'm just gonna kind of wait until he or she starts wagging its tail and letting me know that she's ready. Yes, yeah, baby. Perfect. Hey, Jamie, perfect. thank you so much. Woo! They're here. Five minutes of fishing and we're on them. Now we need Victor. Pressure's off. To keep casting that popper and yes. get a nice attack on the surface. <laughs> These rooster fish have super erratic motions. They don't kind of keep the line tight. They kind of just go one way and then go the other. Shake that big head of there. Very silver. Very silver. Let's go. Hey. No, it's a rooster. Is it's it? a little rooster. Yeah, it's oh, a little yeah. rooster. Okay. Okay. They come to the boat pretty easy and then they see the boat and then bam, they fight. Oh baby, look at that. So Jamie, you say that these these size fish are usually in schools, right? Exactly. This size and smaller are hanging in big groups, 15, 20 fish, even more. And then the big ones become real solitary, right? Solitary or they go in pairs. Man. I just can't get over how cool their tracers are. But let's get them back in the water. See ya. All right, rooster fish number two. Still trying to get one on the popper. Even if it takes me 500 casts, I want to see one of those things come up top and smash a lure. Oh, he got it now. They were on that You got shore. it now. I'm feeding the goggle eye to the rooster fish. No. He's there, he's there, oh he's there. Oh, he's giving it right at the engine. So cool. He's right there. Oh my gosh. 
come on, Rooster, eat it. Our goggle eye is literally 15 <laughs> feet behind the boat. I want to see him eat it. It was like three, four rooster chasing that shark really? right there, yes. What's amazing is we're not really fishing like one area. We're just coming up and down this coast. And Jamie says that the rooster fish will just kind of migrate up and down the beach. So you're really just trying to intercept them as they're traveling because they're not, he says they don't really hold on structure. There's certain areas that are better than others, but you can't just go to a wreck and expect to catch rooster fish. You gotta work a lot of body of water to get them. This is the bait we're using, goggle eye, just like we have back home. These things back home, at the cheapest you can get them for $5 a piece, $60 a dozen, all the way up to like $200 a dozen. They are a dollar in Mexico. Let's see. Don't forget. It's just amazing that we're catching fish right off the beach in Mexico. And there's no one around here. There's no hotels, no nothing. No people, no surfers, no kayakers, just us and the coast. Rooster. Oh yeah, right there on top. I saw get out of there. Very rooster-esque. That's official for Adam, no? Yeah. <laughs> Adam, your lingo's made it to Mexico, just so you know. Woo! Rooster. Right here, right here. Yeah. Man, they get Man. to the boat and they just, they're not done. No. I'll tell you what, these teenage-sized fish, they got attitude. It. Oh my gosh. This thing is barely hooked. Brooke, look at this. <laughs> Hook is barely in there. Barely in there. You know, I'm not going to beat this fish up any more than I have to. So he's going to go straight back in the water, but get a load of this. I never get tired of seeing these fish. When you shake them like that, the rooster comes up. They're tracers. Let's get them back in. Olga's got the boat and gear. He had other plans, Brooke. Three roosters. And then Brookie, you guys gotta see Brookie's video. Brookie caught a giant rooster today. You guys, if you haven't subscribed to her channel already, I'm gonna have it linked below. This is going to be the biggest, one of the biggest fish on her channel, and you guys have to see it. Oh! Don't. Come on. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Not a needle fish. On the rocks. Finally hooked something on the popper. Woo! Jack. Jack Cravel. Jack Cravel on the popper. So much fun to watch these things come up and crush the bait. This was right on the rocks like in that little eddy. See you, dude. All right, that gets you going. I've probably casted like 200 times today, but just seeing that fish makes you want to keep popping and popping and popping. As we slow troll our gogs, we've seen the rooster fish come up. Our gogs are on top and they come to investigate it. And I think it's only a matter of time. You keep casting this thing and a rooster fish will cross its path and chomp down on it. Just caught our seventh rooster fish. And we have released every single one successfully, including Brookie's giant. But unfortunately, this guy, we've tried reviving him for about 15 minutes and he just keeps floating and floating and floating. I think not taking it home would be doing more disrespect to the fish than watching it float up on the beach. Here actually people would take him. Even if he would survive, they would take him back home to eat it. Obviously, that's not our way of thinking, but like Victor said, that fish couldn't do it, so we're gonna make the most out of it. Yes. Thank you for blessing us with your life, buddy. Sorry you couldn't make it, but you're gonna be delicious, and I'm very excited to try this rooster fish as well. And 99% of the rooster fish you release, right? 99, yes, exactly. It's a sport fishing fish, it's a catch and release fish, yep. it's a classic with these things, but. It happens every once in a while. This is our eighth rooster fish on that Olga's fighting right now. Absolutely incredible. I guess we got Victor and Brooke on too many roosters. They don't want them <laughs> no more. So we'll have to work a little bit. We're, it, all, we're just trying to be nice over here, share the love. <laughs> well, we know how it is. We fish with 
we fish with a lot of captains and it's like how often do you guys get to fish on your own you know when you're taking people out all the time it's nice to share the love yeah that is right we don't get to fight a lot of fish we hook them and then to the client oh my god oh, oh my oh. god <laughs> look at it beautiful beautiful so that's what we do on our day off here in puerto vallarta me and olga come out here if you're not surfing you're fishing right? exactly that's all we do if we're not surfing we're fishing look at that beauty he is right there Woo! oh my gosh oh, he launched full body out of the water this one eh? look at that beautiful Number eight and nine. Wow. We're getting to ten roosters, and here we're marking fish like crazy. Oh also. my gosh! Bro, look at the screen real quick. Look at that. Can you put Those... that thing on, on neutral? Please? Yes. Those are big fish. Look at Olga going. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> nice Olga. <laughs> Rooster number eight. Let's go for nine. Nice. Perfect. Let's go for number nine. Woohoo! Number nine! Nice job. Beautiful. Oh man. So hook oh, right nice. in the corner. As Victor would say, nice mu mustache hook. <laughs> and we're gonna throw that thing right back in the water. I would say nice mustad hook and save 20% off use code Landshark on all mustad products. Link below. <laughs> Man, this is a hot spot. This is where we were in the morning. And it's just like, you can't keep your baits out fast enough. Every five minutes they're getting hit. Ooh. Yep. That's what they do. They see the boat and they go right back out. It's like they don't even know they're hooked until they get to the boat. Jamie gave us two options today. He said we could go offshore again, try to get on Kuberos, possibly a marlin, or we can go to the legendary rooster spot. We all voted on the rooster spot and it paid off big time. Look at him. Right here, Jamie. Rooster fish number 10. <laughs> oh yeah. I can't believe it. A week ago we were in Florida, never caught a rooster fish in our lives and here we are. This is number 10. Of the day only. Of the day for High Tides crew right here. You guys, this has been a trip of a lifetime all thanks to Victor, sorry to 11. bother you. I got another rooster on my line, man. <laughs> I'm going to let this guy go, but basically if you guys want to book the trip of a lifetime, Jamie's your guy. Look at that. They are such beautiful fish, especially with all those colors. Olga's just got the boat in gear. He's getting a little water past this fish's gills until he kicks off. There you go, buddy. Good birthday present, Olga, huh? Muchas <laughs> gracias. Tomorrow's Olga's birthday, so you guys can wish her a happy birthday. Number 12. Now that we got a lot, very important to release them as quick as we can. Very, very important. Nice. <laughs> oh, rooster! Oh my God. Rooster! Oh. Woo! Oh my There's a God. bunch of them! Yes, yes, yes! Oh yeah! My God, Victor. Woo! Get him, baby! Oh my God. <laughs> Finally, guys, this was the end! Oh Woo! my God! Jamie! Holy cow, Victor! Jamie! What? I, I can tell you that guy worked two, three entire day casting for that thing. <laughs> We, it was 
five minutes and we were going back home. This point right here, we said, we caught plenty of rooster fish, we got 12. This made, I mean, everything made the trip, but this really made the trip for me. First rooster fish on artificial, and I had a school of like six come up. This whole time, Jamie's like, work it faster, work it faster, work it faster. So I'm reeling as fast as I can, and all of a sudden I see six rooster fish just come and charge out of the water. So cool. My heart is pumping, man. Yeah. That is the first rooster fish on artificial, baby. <laughs> yeah. On the brand new Ocean's Legacy jig and rod that I got just for this trip. I know how much it means to him to catch things on artificial, you know? Exactly. I'm the same way. Artificial is a total different game. You get to see everything, feel everything. Three full days of casting. He worked hard. But that's how it is with rooster. That's why they are so cool. Yeah. You saw that. Now the only thing you can do is come back for a bigger one on the <laughs> <laughs> It's It's incredible. I mean, you cast three days for fish that you don't know if they're not hungry. You don't know if they're not there. You don't know if you have the wrong lure on. We must have tried 10 different lures, just different speeds. And it's just so gratifying as a fisherman to see that fish come up. You fooled him. You get to catch them, you get to appreciate them, and then you get to release them. Couldn't ask for a better time. We were literally done fishing. Like, I, we probably were gonna fish for another like two minutes maybe, and Victor finally got that fish. And I swear he's probably casted like a thousand times, maybe easily. more, easily a thousand times. And not even, he didn't even take any breaks. He'd take a break to eat a snack or get a drink of water, but he tried so hard. So that fish means a lot, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you, babe. <laughs> and Jamie says this is a perfect size to eat. And seriously, guys, would you rather see it floating or being put to good use? We had no intention on this trip either of keeping a rooster fish. We had plenty of Kubera meat and Big Eye Trevally and Rainbow Runner. But this guy just happened to die on us. Look at that. So Jamie says that a lot of the Mexican charter boats, they don't release anything. So for him, he's really trying to change that attitude with the charter guys down here. And he's one of the only guys that does do a lot of catch and release, which is nice to see he's trying to change the industry, right? Yes, definitely. And you feel it really starts to change with younger anglers, younger fishermen. They definitely get a different way to see things. and. For us, even personally, that is our business. That's yep. our money. So even for respect for the fish, of course, because they're a beauty and we, they're exceptional. But even for us, it's our money, it's our business. We need this fish in the water. Yep. But this fish is going to be delicious, right? This fish will be very good. Very good. If you, It maybe reminds you a little bit of that Big Eye Trevally we caught okay. earlier. Yeah. It's kind of pink, pink reddish meat. All right, guys, this is gonna be our last meal at the Hacienda. Tomorrow, Brookie and I fly out. This rooster fish is really good. Instead of leaving it floating out there, brought it home, chef threw it in the frying pan. And the meat on a rooster fish, in case you guys ever wondered, it's, it's firm, it's pretty dark. It's got a lot of flavor. Like Jamie was telling us, you know, you gotta get out of that mindset. What we in the US view as a releasable fish or a trophy fish, might be different in another culture. It's, people have been eating rooster fish for thousands of years in Mexico, and they're gonna continue to do so. Doesn't mean you can't practice a little catch and release and do both, but man, this stuff is good. It's very good. It's definitely darker than most fish that you guys are probably used to, if you can see. Yes, hold on, hold on. Yep. 
But it doesn't really taste fishy or anything. It's good. Like Victor says, it has flavor, but not what I was expecting it to look like, honestly, but it's very good. I personally knew rooster that size was not bad at all because I've had it before, obviously being here for four years, accident happens, but I enjoy it every time. Like Victor says, it feels good to know we're not wasting an animal's life and everyone is enjoying it now and the chef will also be happy eating his part of the rooster, so that's what it is. The chef is actually taking the other half of the fish that we don't eat home. I gotta give a huge shout out once again to Jamie and Olga. You guys check out High Tides Fishing. Not only do they offer charters, but you guys can stay at this beautiful hacienda right here. They got a garden, they got a smoker, a pool, full open bar. You can have margaritas, pina coladas, and it's just gorgeous out here. They did a lot of work to this place. The, the flowers, and they just took a lot of care into the detail. And you get to hang out with that guy over there. That is Reef. Reef is the coolest little dog that you guys saw come with us offshore every single day. And if you guys are looking for badass Mexican fishing content, check out Jamie's channel. I'm gonna have a link below. Basically, I'm gonna have a bunch of links below. If you guys wanna book the trip of a lifetime, check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Without your guys' support, Berkey and I would have never been able to make this trip. It is a dream come true. So once again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Viva la Mexico, and we'll see you next time.